Hello everyone, welcome to Dr. Creel's online class. And for today, our topic is about chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Okay? And I will discuss its definition, causes, risk factors, clinical manifestations, and the nursing care plan. Okay? And the content of this discussion and pictures were taken from a series of different authors of MS books. And some pictures are from Google. So, set back, relax, and learn from the discussion. And if you find it informative, do like, share, and subscribe to my class for you to be updated for the coming discussions. Okay? So, let me start. Ayan. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or the COPD is a preventable and treatable slowly progressive respiratory disease of airflow obstruction. Okay? And because it's an air, uh, air, air, sorry, airflow obstruction that involves what? It involves the airway and the pulmonary parenchyma. Okay. So, ano-ano nga ba yung pulmonary parenchyma natin? Uh, that includes our, it's a form of lung tissue that includes bronchioles, the bronchi. Ito siya, the bronchioles and the bronchi. And of course, the blood vessels, the interstitium, and the alveoli. Okay? So, the airflow limitations or obstruction in COPD is not fully reversible. So, the patient with COPD presents with overlapping symptoms or overlapping signs and symptoms of what? Of empysema. Ganda ng sulat ko. Paisema and ano nga yung isa? Chronic uh, bronchitis. Okay, naalala nyo pa to? Chronic bronchitis. And these two distinct uh, disease processes. Okay? So, pag sinabi nating empysema, it um, <clears throat> damage to the air sacs in the lungs. Pag sinabi naman, chronic bronchitis, this is a long-term inflammation of airways. Okay? And actually, chronic bronchitis is one of the two most common forms of COPD. Okay? Itong chronic bronchitis natin. And it is what? Irreversible. Ha? Irreversible si chronic bronchitis. And is characterized by frequent recurrences. Pabalik-balik, pabalik-balik. Di siya nagsasawa, no? So, this is the primary difference between acute and chronic bronchitis. Kasi pag sinabi natin chronic bronchitis, it is permanent and progressive disease. While acute, uh, there is a way that it will improve and go away. Okay. So, COPD may include diseases that causes airflow obstructions or any combinations of these two, empysema, empysema or chronic bronchitis. Okay? So, any questions so far? Yan. If you have any question, just comment. Ah, just comment. Just write your comment in the comment section or just write your questions in the comment section. Pasensya na. So, ayun na nga. COPD. Clinical manifestations. Ayan. So, um, this is generally a progressive disease characterized by three primary symptoms. Okay? So, ayun na nga. So, these symptoms often worst over time. So, yung ating chronic cough. Okay? sputum production and this often precede the development of air airflow may ganera pala ako magsalita ano nga yun a development of airflow limitations by many years okay however not all people with cough and sputum production develop COPD hindi big sabihin na mm, may cough 
may cough, may chronic cough siya at may uh, sputum production, COPD na yan. It's not like that, okay? Because the cough may be intermittent and may be unproductive in some patients. Okay? So, ayun. And ating dysnea. Okay? Dysnea may be severe and interfere with the patient's activities and quality of life. So, it is usually progressive and it is worse with exercise and it is persistent. Okay. So, as the COPD progresses, dysnea may occur at rest. Okay. Kahit nakaupo ka lang, may dysnea ka. Okay. And, meron ding weight loss. Uh, actually, this is common, weight loss, because dysnea interferes with eating and the work of breathing is energy depleting. Okay. So, ayan. In patients with COPD who have primary empyematous ba? component or yung chronic chronic anong tawag nun? chronic hyperinflation leads to barrel chest. Ayan. Okay? Or kaya nagkakaroon ng anong tawag nun? Uh, barrel chest thorax configuration and this configuration results from a more fixed position of the ribs okay in the inspiratory position okay it is because or it is due to hyperinflation okay and from what from uh, loss of lung elasticity kaya nagkakaroon ng barrel chest and meron din tayong uh, retraction. Ayan. Retraction of the supracarbicular fossa. Ayan. Okay. It occurs naman during what? What do you think? Inspiration or expiration? It is during inspira inspiration. Inspiration. Okay. Causing the shoulder to heave upward. Okay. Sa mga merong advanced empyzema, the abdominal muscle may also contract during inspiration. Okay? So, ayan yung ating mga clinical manifestations. Okay? Question. Ayan. Pakisulat na lang ng mga questions sa comment section. Ayan. So, ating COPD risk factors. Okay? One is exposure to tobacco okay tobacco smoke uh, exposure to tobacco smoke accounts for an estimate of what 80 to 90 percent okay passive smoking okay yung mga second hand smoke so ito si baby kawawa siya okay kasi recipient siya ng passive smoking and increased age. Okay. What else? Occupational exposure. Ayan. Occupational exposure. Yung mga dust, chemicals. Right? Ayan. And meron din tayong tinatawag na indoor and outdoor air pollution. Ayan. Kasama siya sa ating risk factors. And of course, yung ating genetic abnormalities. Okay, so genetic abnormalities including, uh, ano nga yun, yung deficiency of, of, anong deficiency of alpha 1, okay, um, deficiency of alpha, alpha 1 antitrypsin, okay, antitrypsin, okay, what is this? This is an enzyme inhibitor that normally counteracts the destruction of lung tissue by certain other enzymes. So, ayun na nga. <clears throat> okay, class. So, for our pathophysiology, so, uh, patients with COPD commonly become symptomatic during the middle years. And the incidence of the disease increases with age, diba? It is included in our risk factors. 
Uh, although certain aspect of lung function normally decreases also with age. Okay? Uh, example, yung mga um, vital capacity and yung mga forced expiration volume, okay? Even in just one second, okay? So, with that, COPD accentuates or accelerates this physiologic changes, okay? As described later. So, sa so na nga. <clears throat> Ng ating pen. In COPD, this is both progressive and associated with lung, uh, lungs abnormal inflammatory response to what? To noxious particles or gases. Diba? As it is included in our risk factors, yung mga, yung mga <clears throat> chemicals diba? na na-inhale natin. So, this inflammatory response <clears throat> occurs through out the proximal and peripheral airways, the lung parenchyma, and the pulmonary vasculator. Okay? So, because of the chronic inflammations and the disease attempts to repair it, changes and narrowing occurs in the airways. So, here in the proximal airways, yung ating uh, trachea, yung ating trachea and yung ating bronchi is nagnanaro siya greater than 2 mm in diameter. So, with that, there is changes uh, includes what? Increase numbers of goblet cells and increase, I know, not increase, enlarge um, submucosal glands. Okay. So, both of which lead to hypersecretions of the mucus okay so <clears throat> in the peripheral airways naman may yung ating ano nga ba yung ating mga peripheral airways yung ating bronchioles okay yung ating bronchioles and yung ating yeah, yung ating bronchioles. Siya lang yung ating peripheral airway. Yung bronchioles natin is less than 2 mm naman yung diameter. So, in here, inflammation causes thickening of the airway wall, peribronchial fibrosis, exudates in the airways, and overall narrowing. Okay? <clears throat> so, kaya nagkakaroon na ng obstructive bronchiolitis. Okay? Kasi nga sa uh, airway narrowing niya. So, over time, this ongoing injury and repair process causes what? Scar tissue formation and narrowing of the airway lumen. <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> Sorry. So, uh, inflammatory and structural changes also occurs in the lung parenchyma. Okay? So, hindi lang siya sa ating peripheral airway. Hindi lang, hindi lang siya sa ating trachea. Okay? Pwede din sa ating bronchioles nga. Katama din siya dito, ba Sa ating respiratory bronchioles at sa ating alveoli. Okay? So, ano na yung mga mga parts na involved? Yung ating trachea, yung ating bronchia, bronchi, yung ating bronchioles, and yung ating alveoli. Dito sa ating lang parenchyma, yung ating alveoli is uh, damage na din or involved pala involved okay <clears throat> uh, yung ating alveolar wall destruction it leads to loss of alveolar attachment and a decrease in elastic recoil and finally the chronic inflammatory process affects the pulmonary vasculator okay Anong nangyayari sa ating uh, pulmonary vasculator? Anong nangyayari dyan? It causes thickening of the lining of the vessel and hypertrophy of the smooth muscle. Okay? So, which leads to pulmonary hypertension. So, ayon. So, uh, processes related to imbalance of substance in the lungs may also contribute to what airway limitation. Okay? So, ayun. Yun yung ating pinaka-simple na explanation ng ating uh, chronic obstructive pulmonary 
uh, this or disease. <laughs> so, when activated by chronic inflama inflammation, yung ating, anong tawag ng ating mga substances, yung ating mga proteinase, and other substances may lead uh, or may be released at nagkakadamage na yung ating parenchyma of the lungs. Okay? So, ayun. Pero itong mga parenchymal changes natin may also occur as a consequence of inflammation, di ba? Or pwede ding as a consequence of environmental factor or genetic factor, di ba? Kung naalala nyo kanina sa ating risk factor, yung ating genetic, yung ating alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Okay? So, ayun. So, if you have any question for our physiology, just comment. Ah, just comment. Just write your question in the comment section. Class, so, ito na yung mukha pag merong narrowing sa ating bronchioles. It's because of the excessive mucus. Ayan na yung mga yellow na part. Okay? At, kung nagkakaroon ng destruction of the alveolar wall, this is the result. Look at the healthy bronchioles. No? And alveoli. Yan. Tapos, ganito naman pag may COPD, ang ating bronchioles and at, at ang ating alveoli. See the difference, right? It's because of the excessive mucus. Okay? What else? Mm, let's come to our part, okay? Our care of the patient with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So, impaired gas exchange. Ito. Dalawa kasi yung nakalagay dito. So, sample lang naman to. Imp Pag sinabi natin impaired gas exchange, this is a disruption of the oxygen and carbon dioxide. Okay? That's why it's called impaired. Because there is a disruption of the oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange where? In the lung tissues. So, the nursing diagnosis can be a serious health threat usually closely associated with other nursing diagnosis like what like ineffective uh, breathing pattern okay or ineffective airway clearance ayan so our example here is impaired gas exchange and ineffective airway clearance due to chronic inhalation of toxins so what will be the goal improvement in gas exchange so, these are our nursing interventions. One is, evaluate current smoking status, educate regarding smoking cessation, and facilitate effort to quit. But sometimes, it's really difficult for the patient to quit, lalo na kung long-term na siyang nag-smoke. But still, it depends uh, sa discipline ng patient kung gusto niya talagang magamot siya, right? So, Evaluate currently smoking habits of the patient and the family. Yes, hindi siya naninigarilyo, but there is a family member na nag-smoke. Kaya nga, uh, one of the risk factor is um, secondary smoke. Okay? Educate reg uh, regarding hazard of smoking and relationship to COPD. What else? Evaluate uh, previous smoking cessation attempts. Right? Baka noong Batang batang bata pa siya. What else? Provide educational materials. Okay? Ngayon, it's uh, madali na lang, di ba? Um, nasa internet, nasa mga websites, madaming mga materials na pwede natin i-share sa ating patient. And refer to a smoking cessation program or resources kung meron sa hospital natin. Okay? Second, evaluate current exposure to occupational toxins or pollutants and indoor and outdoor pollution. Kasi kahit nasa loob tayo ng bahay, pwede pa din, may masasabi pa din na tayong pollution. Okay? So, first, evaluate current exposures to occupational toxins, indoors and outdoors air pollution. What are those? Like smogs, toxins, fumes, and chemicals. Okay? What else? Emphasize primary prevention to uh, occupational exposure. So, this is best achievement by elimination or reduction in exposure in the workplace. So, if the uh, exposure 
is nangyayari sa workplace natin. So, anong pwede natin gawin? It, uh, actually, kung halimbawa din mag-stop si patient mag-work, it will cause din sa financial uh, difficulties, right? So, maybe we can ask the patient to use those um, safety safety guards na lang, right? Ayan. And educate regarding types of indoors and outdoors air pollution like biomass fuel burn for cooking and heating in a poorly uh, ventilated buildings or meron tayong mga outdoors air pollution. Kahit nga ata yung mga um, ano nga to? Mga uh, perfumes na malalakas, right? So, ayan. So, what will be our expected outcomes? Identify the hazard of the cigarette smoking. Identify resources for smoking cessation. Enrolls in a smoking cessation program. Report success in stopping smoking. Verbalize types of inhaled toxins. Minimize or eliminate exposures. And monitor in public announcement regarding air quality. And uh, uh, minimizes or eliminates exposure during episodes of severe uh, pollution okay <clears throat> sorry so um actually this is just a sample uh, care plan so madami pa din tayong maidadagdag dito right for example na lang kung nakapagpa-check up na sa patient so there are medications that needs to be taken so ayan sa so dapat instruct din natin na religiously the medication should be taken at the right time, um, right dose, di ba? Yung ating mga um, medication, okay? So, yun. So, any question? So, yan. So, if you find this video informative, do share, like, and subscribe to my channel. And of course, thank you for listening. Bye-bye for now.